All right, guys, go to Boy 32 here and check it out. So this is pretty serious. I want you guys to think about this. Finally, there is a Republican representative in our Congress who backs this so-called assault weapons ban. And who is it? Well, it's this guy right here. This guy's name is Peter King. Typically, you've seen this jackass on... Uh, channels or uh, news organizations like Fox News talking about things that we are typically in agreement with but this time is different. He's a, a Long Island congressional representative and it, it, it will really stem from the big city folks who don't have firearms that are typically readily available but now he is backing a so-called assault weapons ban and this is scary because these organizations like Moms Demand Action Now are jumping up in arms and everything else. But this guy, yeah, Pete King is the first Republican to sign on to the assault weapons ban. Quote, they are weapons of mass slaughter, King said shortly after backing the King public on Congress website on Monday. I don't see any need for them in everyday society. Uh, that's his opinion and I'm sure that if you're watching my channel you're of the opinion that one shall not be infringed applies to this platform the AR-15 and I'm in agreement with you I, I know that I'm preaching to the choir but this is what we're up against uh, the assault weapons ban of 2019 was rolled out in February by representative David Cicilline of Rhode Island with 190 other Democrats on board. An additional 11 lawmakers signed on after mass shootings in El Paso, Texas, and Dayton left dozens of people dead and many blah, blah, blah. They always, they always have to elaborate on, oh, this this thing, oh, so good gracious, me, oh my. So, this is my thing. I, will, I turn my back on this guy. I just turn around. I won't even acknowledge his existence anymore. As for the congressional people, who are on board with a so-called assault weapons ban, I turn my back to you as well. I will never help anyone. I will never talk to anyone who is on board with this so-called ban. They tried it for 10 years. It proved to not have any effect on the crime rate or violence. And until our Congress does more to remove firearms from those people who are criminals and should not lawfully own firearms. This is just another law, a feel-good law. That's all it is. Unbelievable. I think the assault weapons ban is timely now, especially in view of the shooting, blah, blah, blah. Democratic leaders, however, have chosen to focus on background check legislation that already passed in the House. Sources have told the Daily News, and I'm just reading this, Daily News, that the leaders think that they can best pressure on the Senate majority, uh, Mitch McConnell, on the background checks because public support for them hovers around 90%. I, and then here's another thing. These so-called polls, in, in, please in the comment section down below, let me know if you've ever been contacted because I can hear, all I hear is that the majority of the Americans want Stronger background checks. The majority of the Americans, 90% of the people in the country want this, or 90% of the country want that. I have yet to ever receive one single phone call. But guys, we've got an upward battle, uphill all the way. Shall not be infringed. It's a serious thing. This sickens me. Peter King. You will never see to my, any of my support. I used to think you were a pretty decent dude. Not anymore. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this guy. Be honest. I'm looking forward to reading the comments. We're still working on all the red flag stuff. What's acceptable in an effort to keep firearms out of the hands of people who potentially could cause harm? How can you do that and still remain constitutional and not violate some of these constitutional rights? We're going to be talking about bans. We're going to be talking about uh, 
registration, red flags, transfers. This is how their end result. This is how they plan it. They've got a good plan in place and they know exactly what they're doing, but it's up to you and me to keep our ground and not to let this happen. My message to Congress and to the Senate, you will turn your back on the Americans and we will turn our back on you. It's Code Boy 32. God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom is not free.